Yeah, yeah, what's good everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a sage who rises today. I will be doing the sun moon rising of earth signs. So let's get to it. So angels, what's the tea for earth signs at this time? What is it that the earth signs need to know? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day because I am so earth signs. You got 40 and 37. You could be a life path 4, 10. At the bottom of the day, you got 49. Hmm. So the first card you have is Archangel Metatron. And then you have Archangel Chamuel. Hmm. You got two Archangel here. And then you have the Angel of Love. So let's see what's going on, you guys. Okay, up. Oh. So Archangel Metatron, it says clarity of thoughts, personal vision. So upright, it says this very powerful Archangel Metatron brings brilliant indigo vibrations to your bra chakra or third eye, which is the center devoted to insight and clear thought. When this card appears upright, it indicates a much greater clarity in your thought process and expanded perspective towards broader horizons. Some new perceptions are taking a hold, and the clouds of confusion are clearing. In some ways, this could be a new beginning, for you're on your way to developing a deeper insight about what's going on in your life and why. Now is the time to focus on your personal vision. What do you want your life to look like in the years ahead? Create a clear picture of that and support it with your daily thoughts. The insight, the insight you need to create a vibrant life is available to you now. Okay. So the affirmation is, my sixth chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. My personal vision guides me and my thoughts are peaceful and clear. Okay. So you got Archangel Chamuel. It says, emotions of desire, life force energy. So upright it says, the powerful Archangel Chamuel is holding a beautiful sphere of golden light at the solar plexus which is of the location, your third chakra, in the center of your life force energy. The issue here revolves around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When the card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move towards the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance, and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, personal manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. So the affirmation is, my third chakra is open to its perfect, healthy state. I radiate a bright and vibrant life force energy. I feel excitement for all that I do. Okay. And then you have the angel of love. It says, tender connections. So it says, this beautiful angel comes with roses in her hair and rose court. Hold on, y'all. And rose court hearts, radiating tender and, low and loving vibrations, bringing you compassion and affection. If you're looking for a new love, this angel brings a message of, up, of its upcoming approach. Or if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, she's here to stay. That far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward. And the compassion that you demonstrate towards yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm. Okay. So the affirmation is, I love and value myself without limitations or condition. Tender loving treatment comes to me in wonderful and unexpected ways. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Y'all got some good stuff here. So let's see what's going on. So angels, What's the tea? What's going on? For my earth signs. Why is Archangel Metatron here? So you could be very dissatisfied with somebody's negative patterns. You're disinterested in them. Yeah, magician. Yeah, I'm saying that you have everything you need to create. And with the nine of wands, you will persevere. Star card, you will heal. And with the dove card, you're being told to let go. Okay. You can have a family with someone. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah. You could be going 
going through some type of spiritual transformation. There's a new beginning. You're letting go. You're ending. So that something could start over or be new in your life. Yeah, there could be some type of upheaval, closure. But you will be able to heal. Okay? You will persevere. You have everything you need to manifest. You just could be very dissatisfied with somebody in your life right now. Okay? Why is Archangel Chamuel here? Yeah, Emperor. So this could be your child's father. Or this could be your divine masculine. Hmm. Yeah, with the higher fit. So it's like... I'm also hearing your child's father or... Your child's father could be married. I really feel as though um this emperor energy could be yours. You could be in your power at this time. You could be somebody that could be a spiritual guru. Six of wands. You could be in the spotlight. Two of wands. Planning for your future. Nine of wands. Going after your passions. Three of cups. Celebrating. Ace of wands. You could be dealing with a new partner. Six of pentacles. It's equal give and take. Eight of wands. You're gaining momentum. Temperance. Yeah, things are being balanced out for you. Three of swords. You could have been heartbroken. Yeah, you could have went through some type of betrayal. Depression, unhappiness, turmoil, your grief, sorrow. With the Knight of Cups, this could be with somebody that you're dating right now. And with the Four of Swords, I see you laying some shit to rest with this person. You're taking a break from them. And it's because you want your you need your peace. Yeah, justice. There's some type of karma coming. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is Angel a love here? Yeah, justice. Hmm. So something could be a life lesson. I'm also hearing you loving on yourself was a life lesson that you had to learn. You had to really stand in your power. You know, you had to have the courage, the confidence, the patience, the discipline. You know? And with the nine of swords, you could have went through a lot of sleepless nights. You know? A lot of dark nights of the soul. And with the page of wands, you're getting good news. Moon card. Because. Yeah, you got good news coming towards you. It's going to be swift. A letter, phone call. And somebody is insecure. Four of cups. Hmm. So somebody is insecure. <laughs> And preoccupied with negative thoughts. Because you got good news. It's, yeah. You, you, you're you dealing with a hater. Yeah. Something is going to be exposed. So that you can close out this cycle. Empress. And get victory and success. Yeah. You're going to be leaving somebody out in the cold. Because they come with too much conflict. You're about to wicked to that. Like. What the hell? You could be arguing with someone. It's like. Why the fuck are we arguing? Yeah. It's just. They're hating on the fact that you have level ups in your life. Like, you got good news coming towards you. You know? <laughs> like, that's some hating ass shit. But yeah, like, what? What we got going on for the earth signs? You got hat, October, and coins. So, hat, it says, you will be playing a different role. You got October. You got coins. It says money will be coming to you. So let's see what's going on. So why is hat here for my earth signs? Yeah, queen of cups in reverse. So somebody is emotionally manipulative, envious, jealous, spiteful, and you had the scrimp to overcome this third party that somebody was dating. Yeah, so you could have been dating somebody who had a third party and you had the scrimp to overcome bitterness. Like, you could have once been, you know, somebody could have turned you bitter, spiteful. And you had the strength to overcome this. Now it's time for you to celebrate. 
But I really feel as though with this Queen of Cups in reverse, this could be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces who you've overpowered. This is a third party who you could be dating. Or this is a third party to someone you're dating. This is somebody younger than you. I would tell you that. They're younger than you. This is somebody that you've been turning up with, partying with. You have to scream to overcome this bitter, spiteful ass person. Yeah, you've awakened and blocked their ass from your happily ever after. Yeah, now you have a brand new beginning. King of Pentacles. Yeah, you're keeping this secret though. Because you know somebody is intimidated. <laughs> like, they're intimidated. We need about to say they play mind games. No, they're intimidated by what you got going on. Why is October here? Two of Wands in reverse. Somebody is not going to have a path to choose from. Four of Pentacles. And it's because of what they've been holding on to. Will of Fortune. This is Karma. Three of Swords for causing someone heartbreak. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody was heavily invested. Two of Swords with being two-faced. Five of Cups. Now they're crying over spilled milk. Page of Cups. Because you got good news coming in. Eight of Pentacles. Because you mastered yourself. Six of Cups. So this could be an ex of yours. They seen that you mastered yourself. Now they want to try to come and apologize for being two-faced. Because they in regret now. Yeah, I'm saying that the fruits of your labor is growing. And this is your karma. <laughs> Somebody is heartbroken that you're holding back from them. And you're no longer a choice. <laughs> yeah, you're no longer a choice for someone. Yeah, this is the path that somebody chose in your family. Hmm. Oh, well. I'm also seeing you chose family. Why is coins here? Money will be coming to you. Yeah, what I tell you. Because money is coming to you, somebody is going through a dark night of the soul. Somebody is having fear and anxiety. This is a third party who you've overpowered. This is somebody who's been in some type of illusion. So they work with a group of people. Or this is somebody that you had the strength to overpower. They could have created some type of illusion to a group of people to get them to move away from you. This was all magic. And this could have been done by somebody's baby mother. And it's because of your baby father. Yeah, so we got a Queen of Cups in reverse. This person has sabotaged themselves. And then we got a King of Cups here. Their wishes is being fulfilled in a partnership. And somebody else is going to have to walk away from, like, siphoning this person's energy so that they can heal. Yeah, somebody was causing conflict. This is the path they chose. And it's because they was holding on to some past-rooted past rooted deep issues. They could have been heartbroken. So this is some four-year-old shit. What is it, 2024? So somebody could have been holding on to some shit for about like four years. <laughs> I just heard that's why they're having heart problems. Because they've been holding on to shit for like four years. Like release it. Yeah. I'm saying that this could be your mother or your father that you're moving away from. Because they are, they are manipulators. And they could have manipulated a group of people. What an illusion. And it's because they felt powerful. Or it's because they was in a pride and ego when they came to a third party. Now motherfuckers is, is scared. Going through fear and anxiety. Like, what the hell? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all gotta tell me. But it's weird. So, angels, what we got going on for the earth signs? What we got going on? It says, want you to trust them. But has evil intentions. And it's going all and all of it's going to be exposed. It says they want to be you so bad, they're willing to take you out. It says their evil deeds and intentions will be exposed. Everyone will know them as a fucking hater. And then we have you are not to be touched, but they're not protected. <laughs> yeah, whatever little protection somebody had, it's been revoked. They don't have that protection no more. Hmm. Why is want you to trust them but has evil intentions and it's going to be exposed? Yeah, justice. Yeah, that's a yes. And that's why they're under judgment now. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be liberated. Yep. How somebody... Have continuously 
keep on negative patterns instead of changing. This is why you're disinterested in this person. Because they're stuck on the same negative patterns. Like It's like they keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. This is what's causing stagnation in their life. Magician. Yeah. I'm saying that you have everything you need to manifest your dreams. So you're moving forward, Empress. You're closing out a cycle. And that's a yes. Yeah, somebody is being exposed because it's already an end to a cycle. With you, Empress, you've already got victory and success over somebody's, what, magic? <laughs> Whatever magic somebody's been doing, is it's, it's causing them stagnation. And it's being liberated. And that's karma. Why is they want to be you so bad? They wanted to take you out. Why is this here? Yeah, three of wands. This is somebody that distance from you. Seven of pentacles, plotting and planning on you. King of swords, that's the truth. So yeah, you already have foresight about this. You know? I'm also saying that you have a bright future ahead of you. Days is coming into fruition. And you're being told to cut motherfuckers off. Yeah, seven of wands. Stand your ground towards this liar, thief, scammer, enemy that's trying to disguise themselves as your friend. Yeah, they're going to want to come in and be seen as innocent. Okay? I'm also seeing that you're already on a new path. This is what somebody wants to take from you, but they're blocked. And that's the truth, that your wishes is coming into fruition and you have a bright future. So it doesn't even matter what they do. They're blocked. Why is their evil deeds and intentions will be exposed for everyone to see them? Yeah, scrim card. Sure is, because you have the inner strength, the carriage, the bravery, the self-confidence to overcome self-doubt, to focus and be patient. Three of swords and somebody else is heartbroken. Temperance, that you was able to alchemize the energy. Eight of wands, now you're gaining momentum. Six of pentacles, and you're getting what you deserve. Ace of wands, yeah, you're taking action. You're taking action. Mm-hmm. And with the higher thing, it's like you could be in a, you could be a religious person. I could be talking to a masculine, you know. Hmm. I'm getting both Catholic and um, Egyptian. Hmm. But yeah, you took some type of action. So, of course, you're getting what you deserve. You're gaining momentum for alchemizing your pain and turning it into script. Yeah, <laughs> the fuck? Somebody weird. Why is you are not to be touched? But their protection has been revoked. Why is this here? Yeah, scrim card. Yeah, it's like you have the carriage and the confidence. <laughs> you have inner strength. You have carriage. You have bravery. You have self-confidence. And somebody tried to go to war with you. And lost. Now they're feeling mentally stuck and trapped. Because they was in an illusion. This could be a king of wands. You could have had a brand new beginning with this person. And somebody's been, hmm. You, you didn't know what a king of wands. This is somebody who wants to be seen as innocent. But this person is very, is a liar, a trickster. They're cheating. They're an enemy disguised as a friend. And you're being told to block them. No cap. You can have a family with this person. Yeah, you're being told to block them. Because they're a liar. You could have had a brand new beginning with this person. This king of wands. They're feeding you a fucking dream. Just to have you mentally stuck and trapped. And it's because they're in loss. They're in regret. So they call themselves charges towards you. But you're going to have the strength to overcome it. Again, you are not to be touched. You are not to be touched. They are not protected. It will be revoked. Mm -mm. Somebody weird. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah, you got victory and success over somebody's mind game. So somebody called this stuff trying to bully you and intimidate you in public. Like, that's what they were trying to do publicly. Yeah, two of wands. So you was out here planning for the future. Like, you are a commanding presence. Like, people come to you for answers and shit. You feel me? Yeah, ace of wands. And you're taking action. Yep, you're answering the call. Yeah, to be a high priestess. So you can be a high priestess. Yeah, seven of wands. And somebody's been trying to block you. Yeah, somebody's been trying to block you. They feel as though you don't deserve what it is they where you're at. You're being told to move the common orders to let someone go. This could be this queen of swords that's been playing hella mind games. Or you could be this queen of swords. 
You already know how somebody is intimidated. This is why you let their ass go. <laughs> and move away from them. And block them. Why is the two of wands here? Yeah. So the path somebody chose was to block you. Yep. Yeah. I could be talking to a Taurus. This could be an Aries, Leo. Hmm. So I'm saying that um, you're planning for the future. And you're being told to protect it. Because you have people who feel as though you don't deserve it. You could be a spiritual teacher or guru. That's the truth. Yeah. You could have been doing this for like eight years. You mastered yourself. So, of course, you have this power. Mm -hmm. You have power and control. You put in the work. That's the truth. You are a spiritual teacher and guru. And somebody feels as though you don't deserve it. This is why they was choosing this path to try to block it. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Wands here? For my Earth signs? Yeah. You saw some type of passionate action to heal. Four of Wands. Yeah. You could have like healed like a twin flame connection. Four of Pentacles. Or you're taking some type of inspired action to heal a twin flame connection. Yeah, this is somebody that you could be holding on to. They could be single. Hmm. Yeah, nine of cups. So you gotta so somebody somebody is your wish fulfillment. Or you're somebody's wish fulfillment. I do see that you are single, self sufficient, independent. You ain't gotta be though. You could just be single like um you make your own bread. Four of Pentacles, if somebody is basically trying to hold on to you, this could be somebody that you share a home with. I see you healing and taking a brand new passionate beginning somewhere else. Like, I'm not even, I'm not even, like, not trying to be funny, but, um, you're already accomplished. You know, your wishes has already been fulfilled. And you're sitting pretty, and it's not a pinnacle's energy. It's such efficient, independent. And somebody is wanting to hold you back. They want to use stability. They want to use the kids, the family. I'm saying that you've already healed. You already took inspired action to heal from a twin flame connection. And you could be holding back from this person now. Being single, such efficient, independent. <laughs> Nine of Cups, yeah. You're accomplished. Why is judgment here for my earth signs? Why is judgment here? Yeah, somebody is being judged. Ten of Swords. And their judgment is to go through a painful ending. Six of Swords, while you move on to Karma Waters. Yeah, you're letting something go. Queen of Swords, yeah, you're setting. So basically, you're setting clear cut boundaries so that you can balance out the energy. So you could get back to the basics. You feel me? And uh, you're letting go of a cycle. You're moving on from betrayal, from heartbreak, from breakups, divorces. Yeah. And you're awakening to your spiritual, you know, calling. Judgment is also, this is your spiritual calling. And somebody has been trying to defeat you numerous of times. You're being told to move away from this person because something is going to end for them. Hmm. So let's see. Why is the high priestess here? For my earth signs. Yeah, queen of wands. You're being told to listen to your intuition about a Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is somebody that's about to go through a painful ending. They're trying to act like everything is fine, but they're about to go through a painful ending. And this is karma. For causing conflict amongst a group of people. Then they're going to get good news. So yeah, with this two of wands, the path that somebody chose was to take action towards their, you know, spiritual calling. You could be a high priestess. And somebody tried to block you from shining. Now they're about to go through a painful ending. This queen of wands. This is somebody who tried to play God in your life. Or they tried to play God in the community. And I see you moving away from this person. And it's because they caused too many betrayals. That's the truth. This is somebody that's holding on to some deep-rooted past issue. And you're being told to end the cycle. This is how the wood is going to turn in your favor. Eight of Pentacles. You've already put in the work. Nine of Pentacles. You're already self-sufficient, independent. And with the queen of swords, you already know the truth. How all this conflict is going on because of a queen of wands. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's like all this conflict is going on is karma. For the betrayal that a queen of wands caused. A high priestess. This queen of swords has already let go and moved on. And somebody tried to betray this person because of their spiritual calling. 
Yeah, you could be being saying it's self-sufficient, independent. You're holding back from a community, from a twin flame. You're healing. You're taking expired action. With the eight of pentacles, you're putting the work. You're dedicated. You're mastering yourself. You could have been doing stuff for eight years. That's the truth. So, of course, you are a spiritual teacher guru. And somebody been trying to block you. This is the path they chose with their goofy ass. It's because they've been trying to block your light, your shine. Goofy, for real. <laughs> Thinking that they was going to get good news with that page of wands. So we got going on for the earth signs. Yeah. Somebody is in competition with you. It's a whole group of people that's in competition over a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. What we got going on for the earth signs? Queen of Cups. So we got a Queen of Cups here. This could be your energy. You could be a psychic. You could be very loving, caring, nurturing, and kind. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups in reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. I just heard we do this. What we got going on for Earth signs? Yeah, this Queen of Cups is moving to calmer waters. That's what I was saying. Like, what the hell? Why is the Queen of Cups? What we got going on for the Earth signs? Yeah, Six of Swords. So you're moving away. To combo waters, you're healing from trauma. Yeah, you're moving away from heartbreak. After somebody basically tried to attack you. <laughs> At the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Cups. So basically what's going on is you're healing, okay? And somebody is heartbroken. They want to rush towards you. And it's because they see that the will is turning in your favor. With this eight of cups being at the bottom of the deck, you're walking away. You are abandoning plans. You are abandoning them. And it's because too many setbacks, too many disappointments, you know, they let you down many times and you're tired of it. Why is the six of swords here? For my earth signs. Yeah, five of pentacles. You're moving on the calmer waters. You're leaving somebody out in the cold. A magician. Because they're a manipulator. Seven of swords and a liar temperance so it's like somebody only wanted to reconcile with you just to cause you a painful ending this could be a aries leo or sag you're being told to listen to your intuition why is the three of swords here yeah king of swords so somebody is heartbroken because you cut their ass off five of wands so they caused all this conflict around you eight of swords because they feel mentally stuck and trapped yeah, somebody's about to go through a tower. This King of Pentacles. Yeah, something is about to end for them. And the King of Cups. Because they they've been trying to hold you back from a twin flame connection. Then we got a Queen of Pentacles here. This could be you. You could be welcome in new love. You could be answering the call. And this is making you self-sufficient, independent. That's a yes. That somebody is your soulmate. This could be somebody that you're dating. This person is definitely helping you to heal. And take expired action. Inspired action. <laughs> Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, I'm saying that you're seeing some type of opportunity here. Your focus, your determined, your bold and intelligent. Yeah, four of cups. So you're seizing some type of opportunity. And you're rejecting this King of Cups that's been trying to hold on to you. Oh my God. So you got a King of Cups here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This person hasn't been holding on to you. This could be your twin flame. Okay. Yeah, they're holding on to you for dear life. <laughs> And they want to rush towards you, but you're skeptical about their offer. Like, you're rejecting this King of Cups. You're holding back from them. This could be your twin flame. Like, no. What the hell? You don't want them. <laughs> Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, somebody knows that they're getting karma. They know what goes up must come down. Yep, somebody is going through some type of dark night of the soul. Because you were having a brandy beginning elsewhere. And this is when they ask to fuck down. Somebody is way, somebody is way down. They're insecure as fuck and they want to block you. And it's because you're gaining momentum. This is somebody who was in the illusion. So this is somebody who let their feelings overtake them. Now they're in a fucking illusion. Taking impulsive ass actions. <sighs> well. Mm. So yeah, um, you're moving on. <laughs> You're leaving somebody out in the cold because they're a fucking manipulator and a liar. Somebody is heartbroken that you're cutting their ass off. And it's because they keep causing conflict. And it's because they feel stuck. Yeah, I'm also saying that um, 
you're moving on and somebody is heartbroken and they want to come in to basically try to attack you and they're going to get karma for it. So don't even worry about it. It's, this is somebody that you're leaving out in the cold, that you're cutting off, that you're rejecting. And they're going through some type of dark night of the soul. This is somebody who tried to do some type of chaos magic. Yeah, this is chaos magic. Magician with the five of wands. This is chaos magic. Somebody was doing chaos magic on the king of cups. Because he was going down a whole brand new path. Seven of swords. This is somebody who's a liar. And they feel mentally stuck and trapped. Because they've been trying to hold you back. And it's becoming too hard to bear. With that four of pentacles, ten of wands. I'm saying that this liar is powerless. <laughs> this is why they keep trying to hold on to you. But it's becoming too hard. Okay? Just period. Yeah, I'm saying that somebody is weighed down by a new beginning you have. They're going through some type of dark night of the soul. But this is their karma. Somebody has been trying to basically hold on to some deep, deep rooted past issue with a king of cups. And that's how they missed the opportunity. Because they called each other trying to attack somebody. And now they're powerless for causing this conflict. They're cut off and heartbroken for being a liar. For being a manipulator. They're being left out in the cold while you move the karma waters. It's just that simple. You know? Hey. It ain't that hard to read. <laughs> like, I mean... The fuck? The, the hell would you want to? I, I, I don't be. What I don't get about people is like, why the fuck would, would you want to be around me if I was doing that to you? I don't think so. It, it'd be that for me. Yeah, somebody wants you to show them mercy. They want your help now. They want your kindness and charity. Yeah, they're furious as fuck. Somebody is furious, okay? Because they lost and now they're the victim. Yep, while you receive blessings. So somebody wants you to show them. They want a helping hand, and they're furious that they lost, and that they're the victim. Why is A here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Somebody wants you to show them love. Moon card. After trying to create an illusion, Eight of Wands, you're gaining momentum. You persevered, and you're having some type of breakthrough and success. That's the truth. That um, in the distant horizon... You're going to have some type of bright future and you're going to have a toxic ass family member. This could be a queen of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This bitch is going to try to cloak herself. This could be an Aries in your community. She's going to try to slow you up just to cause you an ending. So watch out for this hoe. Why is Fury here? Yeah, somebody is offended. How dare you? Somebody is offended that you got your wishes fulfilled. This could be a Pisces, Scorpio. No, this is a Pisces. With this Nine of Cups, King of Cups, Hangman. This is a fucking Pisces. And then you got a Queen of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that's spiteful, vengeful. This person is heartbroken that they're getting fucking karma. And it's because they plotted on you and lost. This is somebody who had divided loyalty when it came to money. So they were snaking you for money. Wow. Why is lost here? Yeah. Devil. Somebody lost because they're toxic. Mm -hmm. Somebody lost because they're toxic. Why is lost here? For my earth signs. Yeah. Somebody lost control over this queen of swords. Over this king of swords and queen of swords. So somebody lost. Because you are in control of yourself. Okay? You already know the truth. So you're setting clear-cut boundaries. And somebody else is in hell of regret. Because things are coming into fruition for you. Things are growing. You can see it. Clear as day. And this is your karma. Dharma, I meant. <laughs> Why is trap here? Yeah, somebody is trapped. They are the victim now. Yeah, this king of cups. This this is a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is somebody that's watching you, trying to block you. They're getting karma. And then, here go you, Queen of Pentacles. You're answering your calling. That's the truth. You persevered. You're gaining momentum. And somebody was out here creating illusions just to cause you to go through poverty and a partnership. This person has been lying about a high priestess that's in the spotlight. But it's the end of this cycle. This could be a Scorpio. This is a man. It's not a woman. Yeah, we got this Queen of Cups in reverse, though. Here go the woman. She's sabotaged herself. 
thinking she was going to get good news by rejecting you. Then you got a queen of swords and a king of swords. These could be people that's in control, that's in power. They're getting karma and they're heartbroken. But that's motherfuckers reaping what the fuck they sell. Just point blank, period. So, yeah. That's all I got for you, Earth Signs. If the message resonates, make sure you like, share, and subscribe.